Okay, so I've got this little canvas here. I'm going to rough sketch out um, kind of the the wings, a wing of a bird here. Just, I mean, like barely sketch it. I, I'm not trying to mimic it perfectly. I just want to kind of sketch it out real quick. And then I'm going to place these matches on top and see if I can get it to kind of burn the shape. This is, I've kind of experimented with this a little bit before, but I was never able to really get a good image. So I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna try to use these matches to kind of create a feathery wing look. And then I'm gonna burn sort of the face of the bird over here with my pen and kind of combine these two ways of, um, of pyrography so so I'm gonna get right to it I'm gonna sketch sketch my bird wing out here and the face and everything and then I'm gonna place my matches and start lighting them on fire so let's see how it goes Okay, so I'm back in the shop. Um, it just it got a little too hot outside. Um, so you can see the effect that the the matches had on the wings. It kind of gives it this sort of almost dreamy, um, faded, blurry effect to the wings, which I love. I love that it kind of you can't really see a lot of detail, but you get just sort of a hint of an image. Um, you can see all my lines here. I'm going to get my pen out now and start to add detail in some of these spots. I'm not going to add too much. I don't want to make it look too real in the wing area. I still want it to have this sort of um, wispy, faded, dreamy effect. But for the face, I'm going to add some more detail. So you'll be, really be able to see the face and the wings will kind of, kind of be blurred out. Um, super happy with how that came out. I think, you know, in the past when I've tried this match thing, um, I tried to do it all at one time and it just didn't come out well, but it worked much better doing it in sections. You can see, you know, I had these smaller sections here where I'd lay the matches out and light them on fire. So I'm going to get my pen and start burning some of these little bits in the middle and the face.
I've got my paints here. I've got them ready to go. And I'm gonna start adding color to the to the bird. I want it to be, I don't, don't want a lot of detail. I just kind of want it to be a hint of color, an accent a little bit. So it's gonna be super faint, won't be super bright. So I'm gonna just get right into it and start adding some color. Thank you guys for watching this um, match experiment. Um, you know, this isn't like an amazing piece of art here, but I'm super encouraged by how this turned out. This lets me know that I can shape the matches and use the matches to kind of get this sort of wispy, dreamy, fantasy look from the wood burning that I just can't achieve with my pen. So I'm super encouraged. I think the next thing I wanna try is maybe well, I think I need to use like a larger piece of wood, but <clears throat> I kind of want to do hair. I think that would be really cool to have some like, almost like hair blowing in the wind and that would look really neat with this kind of technique. I just kind of kind of figure out the art piece and how I want to lay it out. But again, you know, my experiments are usually all about testing things. How can I make it work? And will it work at all? And if it does, what can I do with it? How can I sort of use this look technique to my advantage to create something cool. So I'm super encouraged with how it came out. Um, <clears throat> don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, you guys. And if you want to learn wood burning, I have, have a class that I teach online. It's called Pyrocrafters Plus. And it's a uh, like a members community where we've got a private Facebook group. We share our art and our techniques and things we're learning, you know, different, um, pieces of equipment and things that we're trying all the time, experiments that we're doing. And we've got great conversations in there. And I go live once a month and do a live training. The one that's coming up next in July is um, the shading class. So I'm gonna cover some shading techniques. And of course, you know, if you sign up and you miss the lives, they're there. They're loaded in there and recorded. And so you can go back and watch them later if you don't make the live class. And then there's some stuff pre-recorded that's in there too. And I've got free stencils in there. So just lots of goodies in there when you sign up and become a member. And as always, if you guys have any questions about today's video, uh, just pop a comment below and I will answer it as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching.